Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. This time, we're gonna have Chad Free CC3, your commentator. Should probably mention that at some point from time to time that I, who I am, I'm just a random voice who happens to know something about the game, or at least I think I do. Anyway, Icons and Snuggle Base on Banded Plains. So this is one of my favorite maps. It's not quite Trojan Hills, but it's still good. This map, as you can see, is fairly large. It also starts out where you have basically three start points. You can start here, well, anywhere along the south, but typically players will start either in the south center, same with the north, it's mirrored, it's rotationally symmetric. So south center, southeast, or northwest is the equivalent. Or starting in the center here, which is a tricky but aggressive position, so if you want to go forward and take the center quickly, you can start here. These other two are quite defensive positions, so most both players have gone for that. Most players do go for one of these two positions. Usually 1v1 you see the south center because it gives most flexibility for expansion to the southeast and to the southwest. This map is really complex. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. Mostly the center is the main contested target, but you get a lot of, because of the way it's set up with all the choke points, you get a lot of flanking. I should point out that there's no way across. No unit can go across these except, I think, jump bots. And few people play jump bots in this map. But yeah, jumpers are the only ones that can actually go across these ravines, and I think even then only some. Like only some ravines. Spiders can't go through because of the water, and amphibs can't go through because of the cliffs. Very clever design, but that means that you're going to have a lot more choke pointing going on. You're going to have a lot more dependence on the ramps, you're going to have a lot more flanking going on because you can't easily defend it so the other player knows it and they go for the flanks. Typically this area here and equivalent in the southwest, those tend to be fairly popular and you do see sometimes players will go around the back and harass through that and other players will defend preemptively. So the hot spots typically are this area down here, these two hills near the center, the center itself typically is kind of swingy. It's hard to hold. I guess that's kind of a hot spot. Like, those are the areas to look for. The south, northwest and southeast, they do come up from time to time, but oftentimes what will happen is one player will just take this entire side and it's almost impossible to flank in. It's easier just to use this ramp and end up straight in the south center or north center. So without further ado, let's begin. And both players have started Cloaky. Both Icons and Snuggle Base have decided to start out with... The Cloaky Bot Factory, which is an interesting choice. The size of the map would kind of suggest vehicles being the more useful option, but the shape of the map and all the hills and everything, because it is a hilly map, that gives bots a decent advantage. And Cloaky Bots have a nice set of speed. Nice speedy legs. Unlike the Shield Bot Factory, which has bandits, but that's about it. But then again, the Cloaky Bot Factory pretty much only has the Tick and the Glaive that are of any decent speed. The rest of their units are fairly slow. So Glaives coming in, Snuggle Base going for about 5 Glaives at the start, Icons also going for 5, both players going fairly aggressive at the start. Though Icons, well they built 5 but they're not being aggressive, they're being defensive instead. Staying in the base with the 5 Glaives, while Snuggle Base moves forward a little bit in the line. They'll need to regroup and they are indeed regrouping first, and Icons, okay they were just a bit delayed, but they are going forward with their Glaives. That's good, they are not however building anything else, no workers, just building their economy up as quickly as possible, while Snuggle Base on the other hand, getting up, quick worker, or quick Conjurer, Quick Lotus. Icons has developed a little bit faster as a result. Their economy is a little bit healthier. Their energy economy in particular, which is very important. A little bit healthier. And in a map this size, they could probably get away with that. However, they are going to be punished just for having moved their units out of position. And their Lotus is not in the best of positions. Snuggle Base, realizing that Icons would probably expand over to the southwest, has, inter has attacked in between. And they're actually going to intercept this Conjurer if they're good about it. If they're quick about it, they should intercept it. However, their units are once again single file. So this set of glaives, Icons had enough time to build that set of glaives and to defend. Now, with Snuggle Base, I think they're looking for the constructor, but they're not going to find it because it has already gone past. So Snuggle Base's glaives are just going in for an attack, which I would not recommend. This is way too many glaives to go in for an attack. Luring out Icons' glaives, but they really need to go to the northwest. And they are doing exactly that. Icons realizes this, tries to move their conjurer out of the way. Will Snuggle Base go here? Are they going to go here? It looks like no. Or maybe is it... Oh, so close. Just about got a decloak range. That one glaive there was right next to the Conjurer's decloak range. I'm not sure I'd really show it. I don't know if there's a way to show it. I think if I show line of sight, you can sort of see the red, which is actually their jammer range, and I think it's the same as the decloak range. The Snuggle Base did not quite stop Icons' expansion, and Icons, however, is on the harder side to attack from. They're not intercepting. They would have had to contend with the commander had they tried to go for the intercept, but they're going to lose all their units in the process instead and not accomplish much of anything. 
Like, Snuggle Base at least put a lot of pressure on Icons and slowed down that expansion. Icons, on the other hand, is putting no pressure on Snuggle Base. Snuggle Base can get that expansion for free. They can get a couple units on Reclaim for free. Like, Snuggle Base is in a great spot right now. Icons, they are nowhere near that far behind, but they did get their expansion slowed a bit. Like, their metal economy is actually pretty weak now, compared. Like, four metal is a big difference. Like, really, four metal per second is the difference between having a worker being able to continuously work in the factory or not, or having the factory and a worker at the same time. Not the commander, though. The commander being minus ten. But yeah, it's... That's a big difference. Snuggle Base is making that difference even bigger now. It wasn't the, so much the five, it's now it's the ten. Because this entire... This 6.6 .6 metal right here, that's all Snuggle Base, and Icons doesn't even have any of it yet. Like, Icons is still waiting on their six metal. So at this point, Snuggle Base has a pretty big economic advantage. And as a result, going for the Caretaker right away, whereas Icons has been assisting with their commander this entire time, meaning their commander has not been expanding at all. Does mean saving a bit on Caretakers, but their commander could have gone over here, could have gone up front into the center into this hill area, tried to take that. Could have actually gone over to the north, the southwest, or sorry, the northwest instead, and tried to take that instead. I'd rather, instead of using a Conjurer to do that and having the Conjurer have to wait, the Commander could have just fended for itself. It would have been fine. So the Snuggle Base in a really good position right now. A bunch of Glaives coming out. Oh, nine Glaives coming down. The Lotus will help a bit, and the Commander has upgraded. No, the Commander's not upgraded. This is actually really dangerous. The Commander could go down right now. If the Glaives pick the right targets, and they got rid of the Lotus quickly, and the Commander has to run away. The Commander actually, is it going to go down? Yeah, it's going to go down. Or not just barely, but ends up on a hill. I think it was trying to go into the water. And if the commander can successfully jump again... Oh, it's got like four seconds. Nope, the glaive's going to take it out. Just barely. That is painful. Snuggle Base's entire economic advantage just crumbles like that. Now, Snuggle Base going for a counterattack wisely, but this is really tough. Icons now, they're able to get double the production, basically. They're not building a whole lot right now outside of their main base. Their main base is all that's going on. They have twice the production... They have a massive military advantage. They have basically their commander. That's huge. But that is so painful because Snuggle Base... I mean, at this point, Snuggle Base, I think, might actually have a chance because the commander should go down. If they take out the Lotus, take out the Lotus, take out the commander. That will at least be even. But the Comburst... It, oh, they make sure Glaive doesn't die of the Comburst. And they're doing that, being very intelligent about that. Nice... Although, unfortunately, didn't quite pull it off. But yeah, Snuggle Base, good job trying to avoid the commander burst. That's exactly what you should be doing. So at least the economies are a bit more even. Snuggle Base is still in the game. But yeah, Snuggle Base, what they would have wanted to do is jump their commander into the water. The Glaze wouldn't have been able to hit it. Unfortunately, it didn't jump far enough. It had to jump out of this entire set of solar collectors. It was trapped by the solar collectors, had to jump out of there, and didn't have enough jump. Like, it had to wait another five seconds or so for the jump to recharge. Way too long. Five seconds too long. So Icons now... Pretty even with Snuggle Base, but Snuggle Base, I mean, they, I don't know. The thing with Snuggle Base is that they had their commander out in the corner here. So reclaiming their commander is going to be a problem. It's right in the water. On the other hand, Icons' commander is right here. They can reclaim it whenever they like. So Icons' metal can be spiked up as much as they want for a good minute or two. And they'll just go. They already have a military advantage. And that's with the commander's kill, by the way. They have twice the military without commanders. That short economic advantage, and even then, the economic advantage is still there. It's still plus five. I mentioned before, five is still important. It's not a whole new caretaker important, but it's still important. It means that stuff can happen while building happens at full speed. Or building can happen at one and a half times speed of units, I should say. Snuggle Base is stuck at ten, though. They can only build from the factory at full speed if they're not doing anything else. And of course they're doing other things. And at this point, if Snuggle Base wins a couple battles decisively, they will be able to pull back in. Like, this is not great... <laughs> To be quite honest, they're not in a good position. They can't really get rid of Icon's forces unless Icon starts attacking the main base. And they are, but they're flanking to attack the main base, so that's not going to work either. Now, at this point, they are. There's a donation somewhat. I mean, that's a fair amount of metal. 400 metal being donated in here, that's still not a huge amount. And a lot of that was Snuggle Base's forces, too, so it's not that efficient. It's not that efficient. And this entire area is not really Snuggle Base's, so yeah, there's, there's 800 metal here. But what of it? That's not going to help anybody because Snuggle Base can't get it because Icon's forces are in the way. And Snuggle Base's big counterattack failed. So at this point, Icon's they're wisely taking the entire map. They know that they have this. 
They just need to take the map, set up a solid position, a solid defensible position they can fall back to in case something goes wrong, and they should be fine. It's going to take a lot for Snuggle Base to crawl back from this that problem. Like they're they're at the brink of defeat right now, if they haven't already lost. Right, they have to be really careful. I just I'm surprised they haven't gone for warriors. Like they really just should go for a warrior or two. At the very least, that would allow them to secure this area. They could just go down here, take the area. The warriors would be here. Like maybe one in the main base, just to protect against any additional flanks, which are inevitable and, in fact, coming. So, set up a warrior or two down here, just to stop flanking. And then set up a warrior or two along here, so that the glaives can't get in. And that would force Rocco switch, which would mean it'd be a lot harder for Icons to reinforce. But at this point, Icons has no need. They have more glaives, and they're able to just win every fight. So, Snuggle Base... They pretty much lost this because they are not going for type counters. They're trying to out-micro, and they do not have the units to out-micro. Like, they can out-micro in one fight, but then the other fight is just... They're conceding an entire flank to try to barely micro their way out of a fight. Now, the two Lotuses aren't a bad idea, but I'm fairly certain the Glaives could go in. Good pressure, though. I mean, Icons does feel a little bit less confident about being able to attack. But they still have a nice flank here. Like, those Lotuses can't push out. They can't push out and attack. And I don't see any Rockos coming in. Nope. Just more Glaives. Actually, Caretaker coming in instead. Icons actually is floating. Why are they allowing themselves to produce nothing? And they're going for a Rocco, just in case. So, a Warrior was still be a good idea. And they did actually manage... To, okay, wow, I missed that. Snuggle Base managed to get that flank out. And at least they had the Lotus to retreat. So, so I think Snuggle Base will be able to start to push out here. But the thing was... This game is defense or RTS in general. Defense is beaten by expansion. Now expansion, of course, is beaten by offense. Okay, sorry for that. Defense is beaten by expansion. Expansion is beaten by offense. So this is expansion. Icons has been expanding fairly regularly, but they haven't been. They've been defending it okay. Offense is beaten by defense. So it's so that's the thing. At this point, Snuggle Base would have to attack a, an opponent that has not only been countering them directly, but also been preparing for the counter that would come up against their counter. So Icons is prepared. Even though Snuggle Base is just broken out of here, Icons is fully prepared. I mean, all these have enough defenses that half a dozen Glaives will not do much. Sorry, for some reason my computer is starting to... Yeah, sorry, that that locking up is... I don't know if it's the... Is it the game? Maybe, the FPS isn't looking too good. Sorry about that, not sure what's going on there. Anyway, okay, that's really getting annoying. Anyway, Snuggle Base's counterattack is doing a bit of damage and allowing them to get somewhat back into the game. But not enough, I don't think. I'm going to have to... There's... Have to me. Seriously, what's going on? Sorry, I don't know why it's been locking up like this. Sorry about that, everyone watching the stream and people watching on YouTube. I have no idea what's going on. I... What the heck? Okay, it looks like Spring just decided to start using up a huge amount of CPU time and do a bunch of I.O. stuff. Weird. Okay, whatever. Not like the engine is not known for it. Yeah, so Glaives will counter the Rockos, and not a bad idea for a gunship switch, although at this point, Icons has already beaten Snuggle Base to the punch. Like, that's the thing. Snuggle Base can only win by tricks. They have to flank, they have to pick out useful metal extractors that can't be taken, they have to go for type counters, which are basically just hard reads at this point. If they went for tridents, I'd be more confident. I would think, okay, good, they're fine. But they went for rapiers, and they don't have enough Glaives compared to the Glaive and Rocco army here. And it's 11 Glaives compared to 15 Glaives and 3 Rockos. Yeah, that's not... I'm not confident. The Rapiers will help a bit. They can one-shot Glaives, but even then, it's still not great. Because the Glaives can just hit the Rapiers. Right, there is interaction between ground and air when it comes to gunships. So right now, Snuggle Base is still just under way too much pressure to do anything. And once again, Icons beat them to the punch. So Snuggle Base did not put enough tricks, did not go for type counters, did not do anything that they could do to make things as cost-efficient as possible. Because that's the thing, they need to be cost-effective. That's the only way they can win at this point. And they simply kept pumping out Glaive after Glaive after Glaive and switched over to Rapiers without considering that their opponent would probably also switch to Rapiers. Or rather, already has switched to Rapiers. 
So unfortunately, Snuggle Base not not reading very well, not considering the counters and counters to counters very well, or considering what their opponent is probably doing. Certainly not scouting, not even sending a Glaive or two out as a suicide scout, just to see what's going on. I mean, at this point, Snuggle Base had no idea what was going around the map, which I can kind of understand because it feels like even one Glaive could be the difference between victory and defeat. But sending a Glaive out just to double check to see what's going on, to have some knowledge of the map, so that they know what they have to deal with. That would have helped a lot, but that didn't happen, and now Ikens is going to win. I mean, there's a couple... A couple of these do belong to Snuggle Base. Like, these four are Snuggle Bases, the rest are Ikens, but even then, it's still basically game. Yep, so that is Ikens' game, and I'm just surprised that Snuggle Base... They must have just panicked. They really must have just panicked and didn't really think about... Didn't think about what it would be that they need to build to be as cost-effective as possible, and what icons would do. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit disappointing, but we have another game between icons and Snuggle Base. Hopefully Snuggle Base had better reads that game, and we'll actually... Well, we'll see. Was Once again, it was icons and Snuggle Base. Oh, I think Chrome is what screwed me up, because it always screws me up at some point. Okay, well that explains what's going on. It'll be on Frozen Planet, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.